In this video, we will discuss Long QT Syndrome, LQTS, its etiology, pathology, different types of LQTS, and the treatment part. So what's QT interval? QT is both ventricular depolarization and repolarization. QT is equal to QRS plus ST segment, and its total duration is 0.43 seconds. And QRS is ventricular depolarization, and it's 0.43 point one second whereas ST segment which is a ventricular repolarization is zero point three two seconds so QT is equal to QRS plus ST and ST segment is QT minus QRS is equal to zero point three two seconds the ST segment T wave and the U wave represents the ventricular repolarization. Which phase of the action potential does QRS, ST and T occur? QRS occurs in phase 0, ST segment occurs on isoelectric phase 2 and phase 3 is inscription of the T waves. So phase 0 is QRS, phase 2 is ST segment at isoelectric line and phase 3 is T wave. What are the features of action potential and EKG normally and in LQTS, long QT syndrome? So here it is, difference between the normal and the action potential of the long QT syndrome which is much longer compared to the normal. And in the EKG lead 1 we can see the difference QT interval is prolonged. An acuity interval of more than 500 milliseconds is a long QT interval. If QT interval is more than 550 milliseconds, the risk of ventricular tachycardia increases by many folds. And this occurred due to after depolarization defect. That occurred due to increased intracellular calcium. The two types of after depolarization or early after depolarization that occurs in phase 3 of the action potential. Early after depolarization that occurs in phase 3 causes premature ventricular contractions that triggers polymorphic VTAC or TDP causing fainting, seizure, polymorphic VTAC, white complex tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation and sudden death. There are two types of the QT syndromes congenital or acquired. So let's discuss the congenital LQT syndrome. The congenital LQT syndrome is an inherited disorder that may be due to mutation in ion channel. So what's the mutation? Number one, there is increased inward sodium or calcium current. Number two, there is decreased reflux of the potassium during the plateau phase that causes increase in QT interval. So this is a defect in the repolarization. There is increased intracellular calcium and that increases the action potential and that leads to ventricular tachycardia. So the basic pathology in the channelopathy is increased sodium or calcium current and a decreased reflux of the potassium. Heart is structurally normal in LQTS and the long QT interval. What does it do? It causes polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. The drug Sotalol, which is a potassium channel blocker, alters the channel function and prolongs the QT interval. Congenital problems include long QT syndrome, catecholaminergic, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and Bergada syndrome. There are three important types of LQTS. LQTS 1, 2 and 3 are the most frequent. Apart from the long QT interval, what's the EKG difference in different LQTS? The three LQTS have differences in T wave. I discussed the LQT1, increased QT interval and there is a broad T wave. This is the LQT1 and there is a broad T wave. Increased QT interval and a broad T wave here. This is the most common variant and is triggered by exercise and emotional stress. So LQT1 is triggered by exercise and emotional stress. So restrict exercise in LQT1 and avoid swimming. So why restrict exercise in LQT1? Because exercise increases the QT interval in these patients and the treatment is with beta block. The second type LQT2, it has long QT interval plus a notched and a bifid T wave and the precipitating causes are emotional stress, sleep or auditory stimulation like sudden sound. So emotional stress is also responsible for LQT1 but here it's a sleep 
and auditory stimulation also. Treatment is also same beta blocker. So, treatment for LQT1 and 2 is same beta blockers. The LQT3 now, the LQT3 has a late onset biphasic or asymmetric peak T wave. This is late onset peak T wave biphasic or asymmetric compared to the other. This one is shorter, but this one has a late onset T wave. In LQT3, mutation leads to failure to in activate cardiac sodium channels. Prognosis is poorest in LQD3 and it comes on sleep. Why? Attacks comes when the heart rate is slow. Beta blockers not recommended for LQT3 whereas beta blockers are symptomatic treatment for LQT1 and 2 but here beta blocker do not work and ex but exercise is not restricted whereas exercise is restricted and in LQT1. What's the difference in channelopathy of LQT1, 2 and and 3. LQT1 and 2 are due to an abnormality in potassium channel whereas LQT3 is due to abnormality in sodium channels. Which LQT has the worst prognosis? LQT3 is more life threatening and has the worst prognosis. Now treatment of the congenital LQTS. Symptomatic treatment is with beta blockers as I already told and the actual treatment is ICD, implantable card water defibrillator for patients who have had life-threatening arrhythmia and patients with syncope EKG criteria and a positive genetic testing should also be given ICD treatment. When ICD device is used prophylactically, prophylactic ICD is used for male patients with LQT3 and number two in all patients with QT intervals of more than 500 milliseconds and a positive family history of sudden cardiac death. Now acquired LQTS acquired long QT syndrome acquired LQTS is usually related to drug toxicity electrolyte imbalance or caused by torsidi pontis which increases the QT interval we have a separate video on torsidi pontis please watch that for further details so amongst the drugs the genetically predisposed individuals may develop acquired LQTS by using certain drugs especially antiarrhythmic drugs sotalol and MR drone. These drugs alter the repolarization process and prolongs the QT interval. The offending drug typically blocks the potassium channel as in sotalol. The drug induced LQTS are typically potentiated by hypokalemia and bradycardia and amongst the electrolyte decreased level of potassium, magnesium and calcium cause acquired LQTS. So how potassium and calcium cause acquired LQTS? Potassium decreases the QRS complex duration. So a hypokalemia will increase the QRS duration and increase the QT interval. Similarly it acts on the repolarization process and a decrease in potassium will increase the repolarization time and increase the QT interval whereas calcium acts on the phase 2 of the isoelectric line and a decreased calcium causes increase in phase 2 that causes increased QT interval and causes LQTS. Now the causes of acquired LQTS I have mnemonics A, B, C, D, E, F and M, N, N. A, there are four A's, antiarrhythmics, antibiotics, antiemetics and antipsychotics. Amongst the antiarrhythmics, sodium channel blockers and potassium channel blockers. The sodium channel blockers, quinidine, procainamide and disopyramine. Amongst the potassium channel blockers, amiodrone and sotalol. Amongst the antibiotics, especially macrolides, erythromycin may cause LQTS, ciprofloxacin and fluoroquinolone may also cause. Amongst the antiemetic metoclopramide, amongst the antipsychotic haloperidol and phenothiazine derivatives may cause. B for bradycardia, C for cardiac disorders, myocardial infarction, ischemia and myocarditis as caused by torsidi pontis that causes ventricular tachycardia and LQTS. Amongst the drug for depression, tricyclic and tetracyclic antidepressant. Amongst the electrolytes, hypokalemia, hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia. Fluid loss, diarrhea and vomiting causes long QT syndrome by reducing potassium and calcium. Malnutrition, anorexia nervosa and alcoholism can also cause long QT syndrome and in the nervous system, subarachnoid hemorrhage and head injury. Treatment of acquired LQTS. Infusion of 
potassium and magnesium and temporary pacing. Number two, which sympathomimetic is used for the treatment of acquired LQTS? Isoproterenol. Three, which antiarrhythmic is used for the treatment of acquired LQTS? Lidocaine. Why? Because it does not cause increase in QT interval. Avoid the drugs that prolong the QT interval and DC shock therapy for sustained ventricular tachycardia.